It's a video. I'm setting my nav up. Didn't you say you wanted to stop off at that uh, man on man sauna place first? Yes, please, if we could. Okay, if we could. Ah, yes. Okay. yes. Once the rain started, we are on the A5 heading north and the heavens opened. But give me a chance to test the new uh, Tech Tour textile. I've got the waterproof liner in, thankfully, and uh, so far I think I'm bone dry. Alright, morning folks. Uh, first proper start day in Wales. Um, let's see what it's like. It's uh, beautiful weather at the moment. It's supposed to start dinging it down at 10 o'clock. So we've got about 15 minutes before the rain starts. <laughs> wet and your triumph is massively underpowered you need to buy a bmw massively i gotta give them this round that gs is definitely definitely a lot more powerful <laughs> jason yes massive team two apex huge. obviously huge one huge. Huge. hi i'm dave brother. this is carol what are you thinking so far gorgeous a bit too warm if anything yeah, a bit too dry isn't it yeah, a bit like the costa del sol yeah. this well, the weather's changed somewhat. Uh, yeah, they weren't joking about the rain. It's going to be a good test of the uh, tyres. Got the Metzler Tourance necks on, so fellow heroes. This is, uh, yeah, this is wet. <laughs> yeah. So, we're back out on the road. It's a little bit moist. The tyres, Metzler Tourance necks, in the wet. Not bad, actually, in the, the real wet here, so far. Obviously we're not getting any real speed up yet, and to be honest, I don't think we will. It's, it's a shame, I mean, this is such a good little road, this, 498 or something, yeah, A498 I think it's called. Yeah, that was Mickey Piers again that went by me. Makes me feel like an amateur, that look. I've ridden with some very fast people. He is fast. My God, he's gone. <laughs> I may have to ask him to teach me. Well, uh, it's a normal nice little viewing point, but you're not going to see much up here today. It's a shame, this is uh, a very nice stretch of road in the dry, it really is. You don't really want to be coming off here though, because uh, it's quite a long drop.
alarm issues. Looks like the key fob's got wet, so it won't start. Here comes Scott to save the day. Right then, the uh, alarm saga is over and done with. Scott came to the rescue, he managed to get the um, remote sorted. So uh, back on the road, and it's, dare I say it, it's dry. Although, I think we said this yesterday. <laughs> enjoyed the video now it's Q&A time this is getting quite popular does it hurt that you're not riding an R1200 BMW this one's from Mr. Pierce Mickey I knew I could rely on you no it doesn't and now the Triumph Explorer actually works I'm loving it to bits but maybe I may one day throw my leg over a beamer we'll see do I have an effective beard cleaning method this one's anonymous yes I do grave before shave Link down below. Where do babies come from? Mud. Thanks very much for that. Ask your mum. Why is Andy Murray British when he's winning and Scottish when he's losing? From Clarky. Uh, leave that with you. What's your go-to tune when you're on your own and been riding for hours? I'll have a tenor, it's the Proclaimers, or it's Raining Men. Thanks, Martin. Do you know what? A bit of a redneck. Something like Kid Rock. I love the Blues Brothers soundtrack, so I listen to that quite a lot. I don't often listen to music, I've got to say. If I'm on a big long journey somewhere, like heading up to Scotland or whatever, then I might put my headphones in. But if I'm just out for a blat, I like listening to the engine, to be honest. What cream can you recommend for chafing after some serious riding sessions? From Kit Kat. Talc. Can't go wrong with talc. Did the Teapot One adventure meet your expectations? If not, why not? From at Lazy Days Rider on Twitter. Wow, serious one for a change. Yes, totally met my expectations. It was everything I thought it was going to be. The first stage after it went wrong in Africa, that became a total nightmare. That was probably my lowest ever point. But then after that, when I got the option to go again, I sort of embraced it 100%. And, and even the down days, and you do, do get down days, it all added to the whole adventure for me. I loved it. It was everything I thought it was going to be. It was life-changing. It, uh, it was a brilliant time. It was an epic time. That'll do me. Right, folks, uh, hope you enjoyed the vid. Send me some ideas for next week's vid. What do you want to see? What do you want? I keep sending your Q&As through. At Teapot1 at Twitter, Teapot1 Insta, on Instagram. Facebook is just Teapot1, and obviously on the YouTube channel that you're watching now. Whack them through. Hashtag Teapot1. Hashtag Q&A. Hashtag whatever you like. See you next week. Live your life.